Okay, the Bright and Warm Woodworkers um, arose out of our work out in the community in Bright and Warm. The young people you have met today um, are all Bright and Warm residents. They live in the community and they were employed this summer um, through the Trinity Corporation, Mount Vernon Missionary Baptist Church, to work for 20 hours a week out in their community. So we had a major project that we were working on and it was called the uh, the Johannes Tree Dome Park. Out there we discovered that we were right next to an abandoned house and that house had a garage and in order for our young people to have enough work to do we decided that uh, we would make some workbenches and put them in the garage, take over the garage, put it to good use and become a, a, uh, a woodworking enterprise that we would be a sign uh, we would make signs for the community. Shars uh, Butterfly Trail. This is a lady who's she's renting her home in the community, but started a whole butterfly garden there. And you can imagine after the completion of that for a sign, and we asked her what kind of color she wanted, and so on. The kids were just absolutely thrilled with it, and they had the opportunity to sink the posts in the ground, make sure that they were absolutely. Um, horizontal, perpendicular, and so on and so forth. Um, so, uh, using a level and whatnot, cementing them. And then we hung the sign, that was the first one. This kind of work um, really requires patience and concentration, and as we, as we are advertising, high quality sign. It's going to be $10 a letter, and uh, in addition, uh, there will be additional charges for supplies, materials, and so on, um, then we'll go ahead and put together uh, a kind of estimate and email them the estimate and in turn uh, get their approval for it. If we have their approval for it, uh, I'll use the school pick up and go out and buy the wood or whatever and uh, we're on a roll. In the words of uh, Kyle Baker, at that time when I asked him, he said, uh, I said, Kyle, you know, what, what do you think um, you know, what do you think about this? What do you think you're doing? And he said, well, you know, he said, I am taking something hideous and making it beautiful. So that's very interesting in a way when you hear that from someone who's living right in their very own community who would consider in looking around that community that it's hideous and yet be engaged in transforming it and making it beautiful.